everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be deciding whether or not I'm going to be retiring what was once my most beloved and most favorite eyeshadow palette, and that is the Aspen Ovard X Tarte palette. So this was a limited edition collaboration between Aspen Ovard and Tarte in 2018, and it used to be my most loved, most used eyeshadow palette, and I think it's time that I look for a replacement and retire this. So in this video, I will be trying what I think over the last like few months of just really looking and trying to figure out what would be a good replacement. I will be trying out the ColourPop and Go and Coconuts palette. I do think that this is going to be a really good alternative. I've heard so many good things about it. It also has nine pans and I know that ColourPop's shimmer formula is amazing, which is the issue that I have with the Tarte palette, really, or the biggest issue, I should say. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that this is going to be a good alternative for that. I know it doesn't have the two cheek products. I'm not interested in that. I'm just trying to replace the eyeshadow palette itself. So, yeah, we're going to create this look with it, and then I will talk about what I think about this palette and how it compares to the Aspen X Tarte palette. I will show some swatches later in the video if you're interested in that. Um, if I remember, I will leave a timestamp for that down below if you're just interested in seeing these swatches. But yeah, let's find out if I'm going to retire what was once my favorite palette. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing this video, then let's get started. All right, so starting out, I'm going to use my Lorac eyeshadow base just to set down the lid. Next, I'm going to go in with a fluffy blending brush into the shade Shredded. I'm basically going to use this all over the lid to set the primer down. This shade actually has a little bit of micro glitters in it. They're not very noticeable and I honestly didn't even notice them until I looked really close at the palette. Next I'm going in with the shade Culotta. I'm just using this as a transition and crease color. I'm switching my brush here to a smaller blending brush and doing the same thing. I'm going to try and use every shade in this palette just to get a good feel for the palette as a whole. Next I'm going to go on to the shade Shell Yeah, and I'm just going to kind of build all of these shades up. I'm going to go back into Shredded just to kind of blend everything out. I'll do this several times throughout the look. Now I'm going to mix together Shell Yeah and Lovely Bunch and just keep doing the same thing. I'm just trying to build some depth here. I'm going to go in now with Get Kraken, and there was a ton of kickback in the pan with this one. And this one has a ton of micro glitters, so hopefully you can see that there when I tapped off my brush. But it is a very pretty shade. So right here I'm just using the back of my hand to get all the pigment off so that I can go back in and blend it with the Culotta and Lovely Bunch shadows. And I'm going to go back in with Shredded again just to blend everything out. All right, for the last matte shade, I'm going to go in with Nutty and use this on just the very outer edge just to kind of deepen everything up. And once again, going in with Lovely Bunch and Shell Yeah just to blend that out. Now I'm going in with the NYX Glitter Primer just on the inner half of the lid to prep for shimmers. I'm kind of blending it out towards the whole lid. I'm going in first with the Cocoa Crush. The shade was very reflective and very pretty. So I'm putting this on the first half of the lid, bringing it slightly over that halfway point. Now I'm going in with DeCoco on the outer half and then bringing that to overlap to kind of blend together. And I just used a brush with nothing on it just to blend them out. Now using the e.l.f. liquid liner just to create a winged look. And I'm using my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara just to build this up to probably about three coats on the top. I'm going to go finish up the face. Alright, so to finish up the lower lash line, I'm going in with Colada and Shredded, pinching the brush and smudging that. Then I'm going in with Shell Yeah and smudging that along the lower lash line as well. Cleaning off the brush in the back of my hand and going in with Shredded just to blend everything out with my skin tone a little bit better and adding one coat of mascara. All right, you guys. 
I am so excited and then it's honestly even more exciting that I really liked the last palette that I tried which was the Making Mobs and then now I feel that way about the Going Coconuts palette too. Um, I do like the Making Mobs palette more if that's something that you're interested in of like knowing how I feel about them compared to one another but that's just because I like the pink tones. But this is like such a nice like easy glam look for a day-to-day -day basis. I've now used every shade in this palette except for this one called Palm Reader. So I want to try and use it as an inner corner highlight. It just seemed very chalky, almost like a pressed glitter, but it's not labeled as one from what I noticed. So I just wanted to put it on like here. Hmm, okay, that's really pretty as an inner corner highlight. Last night I was playing around with this palette. I used this palette on one eye and my Aspen Overn palette on the other eye. And the reason that I didn't want to do that today is because they're not exact dupes for each other, especially with the shimmer shades. I didn't feel like that would really make a lot of sense to put them side by side like on one eye. But if you can see, they're very similar and I will go ahead and swatch them side by side just so that you can see like they do give like an overall the same tone. There's the two of them. The Going Coconuts is on the bottom and the Aspen X Tart is on the top. I think that you can probably just be able to tell if you look mainly at this shimmer compared to this one, the difference of just the reflectiveness and then the chalkiness. I really think that um, I'm going to retire this palette. Um, this palette is very sentimental to me because Aspen was actually one of the very first YouTubers that I ever used to watch and I watched all of her videos. I still watch almost all of her videos. Um, yeah, so this palette honestly, just really holds a special place in my heart. My brother bought it for me for my birthday when it came out and I took this with me to study abroad. So it was one of two palettes that I had and I have actually retired the other one. And it honestly is really sad to retire it, but I know I've gotten my good use out of it. I just think that unfortunately the formula has changed and I actually used to feel like that about the Dream Street palette with many of the shades in there. And yeah, I am a little bit like, I'm feeling a little bit bittersweet about it because it's sad to see this one go, but it's literally in like a memory box. So if I ever feel the need to just like use it again, I can, and I'll probably be reminded of like why I'm putting it in there. Truly, I think it is such a good dupe, which now I've bent my arm on itself, but whatever. Um, it's such a good dupe for what I need or what I'm wanting and looking for. So I'm very happy to welcome this into my collection. And I'm honestly happier with the format of just a nine pan versus having the two face shades in it. But yeah, this is actually the only palette I've ever owned that's had eyeshadow and cheek products because I don't like that format typically and I don't purchase it, but it's Aspen's palette. So yeah, I still think she did a great job. This is the prettiest palette ever. And when I have a vanity that has a ton of room on top that I can display this on, I probably will. So yeah, this is going to be officially retired from my collection. I'm not going to call it decluttering because I'm literally still keeping it, but yeah, we're just going to be retiring it. If you guys have this palette, let me know what you think about it. I feel like everyone who's tried this palette loves it. I don't think I've ever heard anyone that doesn't, but I'd be interested to know specifically if you've had both of these and what you think about how they compare. Um, and if you had any issues with the shimmers in this palette too. So I'm very interested to know. I don't feel like I hear many people owning that Tarte and Aspen palette. It was very limited edition, so maybe that's why, but yeah. Anyways, I think I've said it enough. I'm very excited about this palette. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.